Please, I'm absolutely fine. There is nothing to worry. But I don't sleep enough without you, and I can't eat enough without you. If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't when I met you in the summer, to my heartbeat sound. Change the weather, and I promise forever. Hi, I'm Bloody J. I'm an addict. My drawing process from start to finish. Start, finish. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? Nobody moves, Um, if you don't like me, that's fine. But, you know, watch your mouth. Hands behind your head. Do it like this. Look back in. Uh huh, honey. Close your eyes and let the world paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a I'm drowning. A model needs to master the quick change. I jump on your song and make you sound like you the feature. I jump on your song and make a label think they need you. Hold your hand deep devotion. At least as deep as the Pacific. You need me to get that shit together so we can get together. I told him, well, thank you, baby. Anything for my favorite lady? Well, I gotta go. They just let me know that I could pick up my Mercedes. 21, can you do something for me?
Every day. Not all day every day, but every day. Fine as hell. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, thank you, baby. Thank you. Anything for my favorite lady. I don't want to turn this into a competition, but like, I win. I just might marry that new today, but then I found out that Mickey was gay. Oh, oh, Mickey is so fun. If they don't let us in, they might throw shots at the bouncer. Activist medicine got it straight from out the dock. Shots at the bouncer, activist medicine, got it straight from out the dock. I could have my Gucci on, I could wear my Louis Vuitton. Don't let us in, they might throw shots at the bouncer. Activist medicine, got it straight from out the doctors. I'm with RJ, but I call him. Baby, you got something in your nose. 
Sniffing that K, did you fail the hole? Hope you find peace for yourself. Let's pack a fake order. These could be part of our restock. We ship to Australia only. Make a movie like Ray J and Kim Kardashian. Put on the block list. That's if that pussy trash on Polo G. Stressing who? It ain't no bitch that I can't smash. Hold up. I ain't quick. Devil try to get his leg back. Wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. But I think I'm liking her more. She does the things I never asked for. I'm to trip to Puerto Rico. Say the word and we go. You can be my freak out. Girl, I'll be. I was so quick, I was cracking. That was never even enough. Did you ever want me? Was I ever? I just need one minute to make sure I look good. Do you think I look good, Mr. Armstrong? Gorgeous. You're literally gorgeous.
Sawdust. So hot sauce Sawdust. And I got a colorful aura. beads with me look at all the colors comment how many strands there were Tell me he miss it. He wanna act. I'll just grab it in another color. If I like it and they have another color, I'll just grab it. Bracelet. 
Oh, we only started. Less than a year ago. Push pop. I'm taking this home with me. Is that okay? Absolutely. Amazing. You are caught in a dance. You are lost in a trance. Next day I'm real preppy Sorry I'm feeling lazy That's just cause I'm emo again You're great <laughs> I would love it if you could please interact with this video, say hi, share where and as you're from. We keep getting lost in international TikTok. Fortnite or Call of Duty? Fortnite or Call of Duty? Mmm, I think I'ma take Fortnite. Somebody asked me today, Fortnite or Call of Duty? Fortnite or Call of Duty? Mmm, I think I'ma take Fortnite. Hold up, I ain't with that. That will try to get his leg back. Ability of my beads. We're the rich. I see I'm too late. Got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. Thank <laughs> you. 
of my beads part two Okay, today we went to Michael's for the Michael's to get some beads. I really like these blue ones. They're pretty. They're shiny. And then they had these clear beads in these sets, these two color sets that are pretty. Hot pink. Hot pink is my favorite color. Orange ones. Blue ones. And then purple ones. Pink. And then some teal ones. No, those are blue. Okay, and then I like the turtles, and then there's more beads. I felt like they're honestly kind of expensive. I also saw this container that was $4.99. Expensive. You could get the same thing at $4.299 at Hobby Lobby. Package came in the mail today. I feel like if anyone already owns this, you know they already know. They already know what it is. It's pegboard. I'm so excited to hang this up in my room so I can start organizing everything. It came to me on two separate days and two separate packages, but... Here's all the accessories. This one is the one I'm most excited for with those cute containers. Okay, here they are. They have the lids that, you know, just go in here. And then they, like, it slides on and off. But let's do what we've always wanted to do, which is... Boom, that's like the blue ones in there. Hey guys, today me and my sister went shopping to Hobby Lobby for some beads and there are so many pretty and cool beads and I wish I could just get them all anyways. So these are all of these beads. Um, my sister got these really pretty blue letter beads. She got two of them and then... I also got... <laughs> <laughs> I also got these really pretty silver ones and then little small beads and little white beads and this pen that I love so much in this little turtle dish. And then since I love the other pen, I decided to get my sister that pen. Me. <laughs> and then she got pink, <laughs> pink beads on my beads. <laughs> How do I hide the knot when I tie it? So first it depends a lot on what string you use. I use this white string I got from Sheen. I'll show you an example of the two. Here's the clear, kind of thicker plasticky string. You'll tie a couple knots, but then you can see it starts to get thicker really fast. But the tip, you know, if you do use a string, is just to push it through the bead hole as much as possible. Here's the other white string that I use. I'll go ahead and typically tie it three to five times. And then again, you want to cut it as close to the knot as possible. And then you can see, you know, it just hides within itself since the knot itself is actually super tiny, but it's pretty good pretty stretchy. Here's another example of me doing it. I'll go ahead, tie it, and then cut it as close as possible, and then it just... Everybody told me that I sound like CG5. 
probably because I am CG. I want one. I want my own army. I want my own planet. We have two winners and it was actually really fun seeing everyone guess. Some of you guys were really close, some were far away, but we're actually 11 and 24. I'm going to be packing orders because Carrie is too busy with college. Okay, the first person, they ordered the surprise pick bracelet. Then um, the next thing we are going to do is pack the freebies. I love doing this part, honestly. And I also love writing the thank you cards, but probably my least favorite part is cutting like the wall kit thingy. I don't know why, it just takes forever sometimes. Um, so we are going to put everything in. Here's the wall thingy that you can hang up on your wall. Bye, guys. For just a second, think about your dream life. Imagine it. Feel it. Now come back and listen to what I'm about to say. You have the power to make all of that happen. It's probably going to take work and time and most likely won't be easy. But it's there, waiting for you in your future if you choose to go get it. So what's your move? Organizing my beads because we just did the biggest beat order yet. We're gonna start off with pearls. We laid everything out and then we fit everything in their little slot and it worked out perfectly. But this is the second person. So I'm so to use these. We're gonna use these for bracelets, but then also foam jars. Let us know what color combos we should do, and like and follow for more organizing. Hey everyone, today we have a bracelet generator order and I love doing these orders. I basically made a list of colors and then on the side we have a generator and that generator will randomly pick the colors and then the charm. I sped up this process a little bit so we could get to making it. First we're going to be putting in the yellow and then we're putting in the pink. Look how cute this pink is! And then the white. We're going to put it all in together. We're going to mix that up and look how cute. You got the shell charm and it looked so good. We're gonna pack her order. She actually ordered one more thing and those. I designed these wall collages so you guys can keep them on the back of her coupon. But this was a fun, cute order. Can I put my phone charm on an iPad? You know what? Let's try it. And my iPad here, I'm looking at all the different holes I could put the phone charm in. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of its case. And then now's a good chance I get to show you guys my cute little engravings on the back. Anyways, I'm gonna put it through the side. 
We're making a loop and then we're gonna put the front arm itself through that loop that we made. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull it and then you have a nice little secure loop testing out the little button area. That looks perfect. We're putting the iPad back in. Everything still looks good to go. The side looks good to go. But yeah, this was a really good idea. Let me know if you guys want to see me put on anything else. Organizing my beads. Charm time. We got Zodiac charms. So preppy. Excited to make stuff. Guys, look at what just came in the mail today. We got these keychains and I love them so much. You're about to see it later, but I literally hook it on everything I could find. Here's the colors we got. We got hot pink. And then we got, let's see what it is, purple. And then light pink. And then blue. The yellow decided to fall out of the bag, but that's okay. We're chilling. And then we got my favorite color, which is white. And I know it's not a color, but I still love it. Whatever it is, it's my favorite. And then we got black. Here's all the colors we got. What one's your guys' favorite? I want to see what color wins. I got my fanny pack. First thing, number one. I got this little hook thing. We hooked them all on. But then I realized I don't even need that. I can use the zipper. And then I found my backpack. A backpack, 10 out of 10. Coat, 8 out of 10. But anyways, these are in our shop right now. They're so Organizing my beads. Part pink. First, I have to clean up our container. I put the leftover beads in our bead confetti. All clean. Mixy mix. Time to organize the new colors. Cut and pull. Oops. It looks like I'm pushing, but I'm actually pulling the string back. So satisfying. All done. Hey everyone, we have a super special order today. They ordered these four bracelets, but it's not for them, it's for someone else. It's our first gift order, so we're going to be putting it in this box. This is what I'm actually going to be using for tape. It's our label printers. I printed out a little design on it, and we're going to be sticking that on. But look how cute! It's super cheap custom tape. Now I'm going to be packing up the bracelets. They got four. Three of them are from the new shell collection, and the other one my sister made. And then now I get to handwrite the gift note. But I'm not going to be showing the name just in case it's a surprise. We made it a little cute. We're going to be putting the note in there along with stickers and the high chair like normal. We're going to be putting everything in the box with cute little tissue paper. We're slapping a sticker on it. And then I have this coupon that I give out. And then a waffleage on the other side so you can hang it up and repurpose it. Then we're going to be sealing it up. Again, using more of that tape. And then I'm, it wouldn't be a package without our little pink sticker. And then after that, I'll be putting on the shipping label and it's ready to go. Today, we we're packing an order for my cousin, but this is actually a surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch, and so he picked 
some things out that he thinks she would like and I totally agree with his choices. So we gathered everything up. We got all our packing supplies. We're gonna package these two together. We actually just got new packaging, which is so exciting. It's so fun. We're gonna put these two together and since it's a set, we're gonna staple it. I accidentally did the staple too high, but it's okay because we're gonna cover it with a sticker. Right, our thank you note, and I love this, but it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew. And I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon, but on the back, what you guys see is a little thing you could hang up for your walk collage, and I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection, and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag. We're gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on. But I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok, so she can't see this. Can we fill more orders? Yes, and I'm actually gonna have my sister do the voiceover, but she doesn't know what you guys got. Okay, here she is. Okay, hi everyone. So, okay, this person got like an orange foam charm thing. There's a freebies, uh, the high chew stickers, and the next five people to order will get an extra freebie ring. And then here's like the wall kit thingy. You need to cut some off so it was well actually fit and then we are putting everything in sealing it up tight 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 putting the soco sticker on and then oh this person ordered a surprise pick bracelet so carrie's gonna pick that out oh that's cute okay anyways so peel the thing off and we're getting the freebies ready anyways thank you so much for all of these orders it means a ton anyways there goes the ring, the wall thingy kit thing, uh, bracelet, and then the freebies, and we are sealing it up tight. But again, thank you so much, so bye, y'all. Organizing my boots. So it's restock day because some of our pinks are slacking. Some of them are completely gone, some of them are kind of low, and then some of them we still have a decent amount of. Hot pink. That's Sophia's color. My fave. It's the best. It's the best out of them. <laughs> she cuts it and then I pull it and then she also films. This one kind of went everywhere. <laughs> okay, this next color might drive some of you guys crazy, but I think it's so cute. Oh, wait, not hot pink. Baby beads. Baby beads. Little babies. They're so cute. I think they still needed to be in here. They're so cute. They're so little. Mm hmm. Anyways, here's our lighter pink. I didn't want to mix the lighter pink in with the other lighter pink because they're slightly different. Here's my neon pink. I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're stacking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all done. Sure. Okay, so this is our bead confetti, and we've actually been getting some questions of what can we make out of it? Which I'm actually really curious too, because we sell these in our shop and I've actually never packaged ourselves up one and tried making stuff. So I'm packing my sister one. My sister is packing one up for me. We're going to swap bags and see what we can make out of it. <laughs> okay, and to avoid cheating, that's why I filled up her bag and she filled up my bag so we don't hand pick out charms that we want. And I'm actually gonna make a fun charm and she's making a bracelet off to the side. So let's start. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to do time lapse because the video would take forever. But I feel so bad for Sophia. She was having- Don't see it. Just <laughs> oh, my hair may have not fell apart, but the Three times. Her bracelet fell apart three times, and so at this point, we just decided to show you the pattern. And I, I gave up. Yeah. But this is a foam charm I made. It's so cute. Thank you. I really like this orange part, but yeah, and there's still so much left. It's crazy. Bye bye.
one i got a couple orders and in the message they asked pretty please if i could package this order on a tiktok and of course i can i got you okay first look at these bag sizes so the bag i just showed you is the bag i wanted to get and these are the size that i actually ended up getting we use it for a bead confetti but the other one's too small but it has a good new home we're actually now going to use these bags to package up our keychains that we just got and she is the first buyer next moving on to the bracelet it's a random bracelet so i get to pick it out and then i get to slap the sticker on so you know that it's a random bracelet but this bracelet is seriously perfect for summer it's so cute next we're gonna get our freebies again we're throwing in a ring i think we only have like three left but anyone who orders gets a ring while supplies last putting all the goodies in the little bag and i get these bubble mailers from amazon because i know i'm gonna be asked that so cute this was such a good little order i actually printed out more of our stickers because guys we were running out we were running low next we also have another random pick bracelet i picked out this one we slap a sticker on we're getting the freebies ready putting some stickers and then grabbing that ring again and i picked blue to my type of bracelet i think it works out and the yummy candy we're putting in the little wall collage on the back of that is actually a coupon code you guys sticking everything in the bubble mailer sealing it up we're gonna slap a sticker on it and we're calling it good but thank you guys what happens to our leftover beads if there isn't a lot we put it in the bead confetti or if we want to save it we put it in these bags i found a noodle organizing my beads on our stream of followers said they put their leftover beads in a container that is literally the smartest idea ever. So today we are putting all of our combos in a proper home. Now we don't have to use a lot of plastic bags. I love this combo. So tiny. Grateful for the help and idea from the follower. It looks way better, too. So satisfying. We're organizing all of our supplies today to get ready for our new launch. It's been so busy but fun. are only black I need to order more. My brother and dad both want a bracelet. Confetti time! Little scoop approved. I'm saving the noodles they need a home to. Done! How I make a phone charm, except this is actually my first time making one. We're gonna cut our string and then I'm gonna fold it in the middle. I'm gonna loop it behind the back. We're basically just making a knot. I'm gonna grab it in the middle and then pull it. We're making it so it has this little loop so it can slide through the phone. My loop is about two to three inches, but afterwards I kind of felt like it was a little too long, so I'm gonna be doing it shorter for the future. We pulled it tight and I'm going to tape it down to hold it in place. All right, next is time for beads. I got six millimeter pearls, eight millimeter pearls. We got a different, lots of different kinds of charms. We're sticking with the blue and white theme though, because that's our favorite color. We're making a little beachy though. We're going to be adding some shells and some starfish. I'm going to take these cute little hearts. And then I actually have these light blue letter beads and we're going to spell out Aloha. We got our cute little bowl of bead soup. And then I'm going to be putting them on, and it's actually completely random. I put on my 8mm bead, 6, a heart, and I actually decided to take this one off so all the hearts are facing up. But yeah, that's my one little tip. If you guys like it that way, you can leave it, but I kind of like everything facing the correct way. Adding some shells, some more beads. Again, this is completely random. Random, but not random at the same time, if you guys know what I mean. Me doing the other side, I measured it out to about six inches. 
And then we're going to be adding the letter beads. Again, I had to be aware of what way they were facing. But it's so cute. Next, I'm going to be tying it. I tied it about three or four times. And then making sure you pull really, really hard. We want it to be sturdy and we want to get that knot as small as possible. And then I go ahead and cut it. And then now we're going to apply a little bit of nail polish to make it super sturdy. After applying nail polish, you can go ahead and pull it through a hole to kind of hide the knot. But I was actually okay with it and the knot didn't want to go in anyways. But here's our charm itself. How to make a flower ring. For this tutorial, we're actually going to be using three types of beads. This is a string we use, so we're going to cut two strings so me and Koei can make two rings. <laughs> for our first step, we're going to take three beads and these are going to be the color of our flower petals. Just going to slide three on just like that. Okay, after... <laughs> <laughs> Since we're going to be making a hibiscus flower that only has five petals instead of six, we're going to have to take this super small white bead to use as the middle or the big one would look like that. So we're going to go ahead and just put it on the end. And then we're going to separate the three beads between one and two. We're going to take the end of the string and then we're going to push it through that first bead right there. And I'm going to be honest, this took me like two minutes. I was struggling. This is definitely easier if you have a needle. But we're just using our fingers for today. Anyways, you're going to push it all the way down. And then you should have something that roughly looks like this. After you have something like that, we're going to take more beads. We're going to take two more to finish off the petals and stick it on the right side of the string. Now that we have our two beads on there, we're going to take the end of the string and we're going to put it through the bottom petal. And we're just going to go ahead and pull it. And then you have your flower. So cool. <laughs> okay, after you have your flower, you're going to pull it kind of tight. And then after this step, you're just going to go ahead and finish your ring. You can actually turn this into a bracelet or a necklace if you want to. We're just going to go ahead and add white beads and add them to both sides so the knot doesn't have to be by the flower. We're going to measure out our ring and then I'm just going to go ahead and tie it like normal. I tie it three to five times and let me know if you guys want to see how we do the other flower. The other flower is the one with the six petals and we don't have to use a smaller bead in the middle. But to hide the knot, I just push it within a bead and there you go. There's our super cute little flower ring. Hi, biscuits. Today, we're packing our biggest order yet. This order is for Ava, and technically it was multiple orders in basically one big one. She bought from us a couple times yesterday and then a few times today, so we're packaging it all up in one big package. She bought multiple sets and five generator bracelets, which are fun making. She bought seven bags of bead confetti. We already have three packed. Now it's time to put everything together. Here's the first set gonna go ahead and staple it put a sticker covering the staple now it's time for our bff set i love that set so much next she bought my pure vita style bracelets and she bought two of them and she actually bought the last one next she bought our squishmallow inspired bracelet and she actually bought two of these here's the next set that she bought it's my blue and white surf set bracelet set that's the rest of the sets and sophia actually had to go and finish making a bracelet so it is freshly made and all ready to go for this other squishmallow set here's all the sets and now we're just packaging our random bracelet generator if you guys don't know what it is i recommend looking at our other videos what it is because these are so fun making anyways it's completely random there's three colors in each bracelet and then with each bracelet comes with a random charm. We package these up. I put a sticker over it to let them know that it is the random generator bracelet so they're not confused on why this random bracelet is in their order. Now that we have five of those, it's time to fill the rest of the bags up with the bead confetti. 
she requested having three turtles so we made sure there was a lot of plenty of turtles for her fill it up and then squish it down and close it shut she actually even ordered more beef confetti after i was done packaging this one up so she's gonna have two packages on the way next is a shark sticker she requested this was kind of the inside joke of our live stream and i told anyone if they want it they could request it and they could have it because it's kind of creepy but also a little funny if you know what i mean next is our freebies we got some more stickers for her some high chews gonna go ahead and close that up next we have our thank you card and we actually have a freebie bracelet for her because she's so generous in her orders yep this is everything she got and then we're gonna bundle it up i gave some string for her for her bead confetti close it up and then put another sticker on it and then it is time to ship off Call them Carol Baskins. Ah. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy.